Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a filament swap on the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M. So that means that you already have filament going into the printer, but now you want to change it out. How do you do that? Well, here's how you do it, and it's not difficult. Now, there's a few different steps, but it's not bad. Now, first of all, there's no function to just push the filament out from the top so you can just pull it out whole. You can't do that. So instead, we're gonna to have to cut it. So first thing you're gonna do is grab this little white tube here and just pull it up. And when you pull it up, you're gonna see that there is some filament right there. You see, I got this green filament that I'm dealing with. And then you just take your snips that came with the printer and we're going to cut it. How much do you cut? Well, you don't have to expose a ton of it like this, you know? So just make sure that you cut it um, just kind of like right above the circle. There's gonna be a little bit sticking out. You really can't go wrong here and just give it a snip. So now this is free. So now you're just gonna pull this filament out of the tube. And we're gonna do that simply by grabbing the spool on the back if you're using the back mounted uh, filament holder. And we're just gonna pull it right out of there. All right, so now we're just gonna take this, roll it up, put it somewhere safe. Now, we still have to deal with the filament that's inside of this print head here. So now we need to go to the menu. Now, if your build platform is high just like this and is very close to the print head, then you want to lower it. Because if you don't, once the filament starts to extrude for the swap process, it's going to encase your nozzle and you don't want that to happen. So we need to lower this first. So in order to do that, go to the gear icon, which is the third icon from the bottom on the main menu and you're gonna to come to this screen here. And this screen allows you to move the build platform and the print head in increments. All right, so you see here, these options let us move the print head and then the ones over on the right, let us move the build platform. You see, we can move it in increments of 10, 50 or 100 millimeters. And if we try to just move it, it's gonna tell us, no, it can't do that because we have to go home first. I wish it didn't do that, but it is what it is. In order to go home, you just gotta hit this icon here that has a zero with an arrow going around it. And that's going to home the build plate, which means it's just going to move down and find the zero point. All right, so now that it's homed, you could start extruding the filament, but I'm gonna move the build platform up just so that you guys can see what's going to happen. So I'm going to go to 50 and I'm going to move it up. So that is a comfortable distance there. So now I'm just going to hit the home button on the screen and now we can start loading up the new filament. I've got some of this yellow rapid PETG and I'm just gonna load it on the back because that's where the default position is going to be. And now I'm just gonna take this filament, run it through this clear tube on the back, up through the filament sensor, and just keep on pushing it through until it comes out of the other end. So now we got the filament coming out of the other end of the tube, and now we can turn our attention back to the main display. So from the main display, go down to the third icon, which looks like a spool of filament. We're gonna go over to this second icon here that looks like two spools of filament in a circle. And then we're going to press start. And it's preheating the nozzle up to 220 degrees Celsius. And it's going to start to purge the filament that is inside of the print head, including that little tiny bit of filament that's still sticking up from when we cut it earlier. All right, so keep your eye on that. You see how it's being taken down. And what's happening is that it is extruding down onto the build plate and once it stops moving like that, you know that that process is done and now we have to load in the new filament. So if you don't move quickly enough, the process is gonna stop by itself. So you just have to hit again on the touch screen and it's gonna to start to heat up once more. And grab this part of the filament right here and we are gonna stick this part down into the open hole in the print head. So we are up at 220 degrees Celsius, and now we're just going to stick this in, 
push the tube into the hole as well. And you can now see the remaining green filament is now being pushed out and the new yellow filament is also being pushed out as well. Now, personally, I think that it purges a little bit too much of your new filament, but this is what it's going to do. But this also ensures that you have gotten rid of all of the old filament. So when you start printing again, it's just going to be the color of the new filament that you put in without any mixing. And once it's done doing that, you can just grab this filament and take it right off the bed and you are done. So that's it. That's how you do a filament swap on the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M. So I just wanted to do this little quick tutorial video and I'll be back soon with some more videos about this here printer. It's a very, very good printer for the price, which is currently $299. Link in the description if you want to see where you can find it, either on Amazon or directly from Flash Forge. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.